Hello, and welcome to Scrum Master Certification Course. In this module, we will discuss the Agile principles. The first principle is customer satisfaction. The highest priority of any project managed using an Agile methodology is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. Next is welcome changing requirements, even late in development. Agile processes harness change for the customer's competitive advantage. In the current market, in which customer requirements, available technologies, and patterns of business keep changing, it is essential to approach product development in an adaptive manner that enables change incorporation and fast product life cycles, rather than emphasizing following plans formed with potentially outdated data. The third principle is deliver working software frequently from a couple of weeks to a couple of months, with a preference for the shorter timescale. Real value is delivered to the customer primarily in the form of working software. Therefore, the Agile focus is on delivering working software in increments throughout the product lifecycle. The fourth principle is that the business people and developers must work together daily throughout the project. Traditionally, Customers or business people have been seen as outside players who are involved mainly at the start and end of the product life cycle and whose relationships are based on contracts and their fulfillment. But Agile believes in a shared value approach in which customers are seen as collaborators. The team and customers work together to evolve and develop the product. The fifth principle is to build projects around motivated individuals. Give them the environment and support they need, and trust them to get the job done. Agile believes that the key actors in any project are the people, and thus the emphasis should be on them and their interactions. The most efficient and effective method of conveying information to and within a development team is face-to-face -face conversation. This is so because face-to-face -face communication is more dynamic when compared to other modes such as paper, telephone, or email. This is the sixth principle. The seventh principle is that the working software is the primary measure of progress. Unlike methods which evaluate project success on the basis of meeting the planned targets, Agile measures the success of a project or its progress based on the value delivered to the customer. Agile processes promote sustainable development. The sponsors, developers, and users should be able to maintain a constant pace indefinitely. Maintaining a sustainable pace of work also helps improve quality of product delivery over a period of time. This is the eighth principle. The ninth principle is that continuous attention to technical excellence and good design enhances agility. Some of the ways of ensuring this are continuous integration, refactoring, and incremental re-architecture. Simplicity, the art of maximizing the amount of work not done, is essential. This is the tenth principle. This principle can be adhered to through use of small feature sets, focusing on client value, ensuring good upfront design and model, etc. The eleventh principle is that the best architectures, requirements, and designs emerge from self-organizing teams. The key for adherence to this principle is placing emphasis on people or empowering people to make key project decisions and trusting their ability to deliver the required solutions. At regular intervals, the team reflects on how to become more effective and then tunes and adjusts its behavior accordingly. This is the twelfth and last Agile principle. This brings us to the end of the module on Agile principles. Thank you for learning with us.